Well, Back for Blood is disappointing. Into it, let's get. You know, before we get into this review of Back for Blood, let's give a shout out to today's sponsor, Raid Shadow. Nah, who am I kidding here? It's actually Blitz Win Cash. This is an iPhone app that gives you a virtual casino in which you can play against others to win actual money, depending on which state you are in. To tell you the truth, all I ever did here was play free speed solitaire it was pretty addicting and you know what they're gonna give me two dollars for everybody that downloads this from my link in the description or the pinned comment because that's the brutal honesty you can expect out of me from Turtle Rock Studios back for blood is the spiritual successor and canonically canonically how do you say that successor to Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 with its four player online co-op player versus environment. Now you are the cleaners versus the ridden. Yeah, we're doing little name changes here because we're no longer with Valve working on this. Had to go away from them because they want to just be a platform to host game sales rather than develop titles. So you're going to see a lot of similar things and that's good. The graphics look okay. It looks a little more last gen than something I wanted to play on my Xbox Series X, but for the most part that's fine enough. However, the first thing you're going to actually notice is that you have to agree to have your voice recorded. Wow, this is going to be the new normal soon, guys. You're given a HUD world here, this Fort Evans, where it's really quite unfortunate how you're introduced to this card system, because why would we want to just be able to work together with friends and defeat the Horde? Oh, I'm sorry, the Ridden. No, we want to have a game director system that's going to throw you for a loop, because all the cards that you're trying to play somehow get nullified, and you have to have all these cards in order to have any shot in hell, which means means, unfortunately, if you're going to play this, you're going to do it one of two ways for several hours. Days on end. Grinding on recruit through the campaign, which I have presently given up at the end of Act 1. Yeah, but Vaughn, you're supposed to complete the game before you review it. Well, um, who said? Because back in the day when I would beat a game and then review it, no one cared. Oh, but the people who are early with the reviews, they get all the views and the money and the endorsement deals from Raid Shadow. I didn't want to have to play this on Recruit for 10 plus hours, just so that I could get the ability to stand some chance in hell at the higher difficulties against the game director. The sprawling campaign is not what this is best suited for. This sort of weird four player versus the big zombie horde subgenre is going to work best in little mini movies as we saw in Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 with crescendo events and a thrilling rescue at the end. It was palatable. You could sit down for an hour and a half, play with your buddies, and feel like you experienced something fulfilling. This, not so much. In fact, you're actually going to be better off in this four-player online co-op game playing with offline bots. Solo. There is just too many advantages to having the bots on your side. They don't get left behind. They will teleport to you. I mean, that's pretty game-breaking right there. Whereas if you have humans who are going to be confused about the route to take, a, they're a liability. To make matters worse, the controls are far more sluggish than they were in the original games where they were intuitive. Now you have aim down sights. Unless something occurs in which you want to play a card that gives you enhanced melee, now you don't have aim down sights, I guess you're not going to be using anything but a shotgun. Because your accuracy is horrid. I can't adjust to shoot anything quickly. Pulling up the scope takes forever. Oh, but Vaughn, there's a card to fix that. Okay, whatever. Why should there have to be a card to play the game the way you want? Oh, but Vaughn, you don't really have to grind the campaign on Recruit. You can play Swarm. Oh yeah, joy. Well, at least everybody has access to all the same cards in Swarm mode, which is player versus player. Switching sides, four guys play is the cleaners, four is the ridden. You try to see who can hold out the longest. It's not as engrossing as the old play through the campaign as the game director setup, which we don't have here, which was in the original games over 10 years ago. Why is this absent? Is it something that's going to be included later? 
Unfortunately, I have to judge the game as it is now. So I hope you like playing as the not called the boomer or the not called the jockey, pulling people away from the group and repeat this till you get those supply points so you can open those cards and then eventually play the game you thought you bought. I'm, you know, fortunate for me. I'm over here playing on Game Pass for free day one. Yeah. So far, it's been kind of a disaster whenever anything is announced as a day one available on Game Pass title. I think at this point, we're just kind of fortunate that it's not entirely broken. Yeah, there is a weird thing going on with the voice chat. Even if you're an Xbox Live party, you're going to get some kind of echo because all of your friends and anybody that joins your lobby is going to be able to hear each other. You can then mute them, invite them to the party. That gets rid of the echo. I actually kind of think this is a cool system. You know, to make sure that everybody can talk. Unfortunately, as I said, you're better off with bots. Game crashes have been few and far between, which I uh -oh. guess is above average or actually pretty solid by today's standards, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of fun to be had. I'm sure at some point you will get that challenge that you want on a fair terms. There's a few different objectives separating it from Left 4 Dead. Well, there's just little things that I just don't think are quite as polished. Uh, like you throw the pipe bomb, a few ridden gather around it. Not quite ferociously jumping on it like the Left 4 Dead enemies, but um, it's something. I give Back for Blood a 6.0 out of 10. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the 8 minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.